Good morning. Do you guys make it okay? Best as we saw, and there is ice in that water bowl. We got down to 24, and it's already up into the 30s. And I think into the 50s today. So a very short-lived cold snap. Just enough to mess with the plants. There's one more bowl for them. I don't see Tux. He might be asleep in the garage. I'll call for him here as soon as I get these guys settled. Hello. Hello. Morris is doing much better. I canceled his shot appointment. I um, didn't want to set him back. Johnny and I just couldn't take it. He's had his rabies shot and one feline leukemia and one distemper. But he was supposed to have some boosters and... I just don't want to set him back again. Not, not right Good now. morning, big man on campus. How are ya? Come on, yours is in the catio. Come here. Come on, Tux. Come on, buddy. Over here. Come on, bud. It's over here. Yeah, I got a little thank you. Everybody wants to see you pee on my flower pot. Come here. Come on. Come on, good boy. Good boy. Well, at least it's a beautiful sunny day today. The uh, clearing after the storm. Dipsy was here yesterday, but Stripe tried to come up the stairs while he was eating. And uh, there wasn't a fight, but there was a loud scuffle of bowls being overflipped and chairs knocked about up here. And it was noisy, but I looked at it on the security camera and... Um, there was no actual fighting, just super fast scurrying. So hopefully he'll come back today and hopefully I can keep Stripe off the front porch because I don't want him up here for a number of reasons. I'm in Ruby for just a minute here in the garage. Don will be out shortly. Um, we're going to take Jules to go for a little drive and for our walk. But um, I wanted to see what's going on with Ruby this morning as far as um, the scroll wheels. Okay, nothing. No horn, no scroll wheels. Charging for a short amount of time last night, and I do realize uh, unable to drive, remove charge cable. That's true. Um, oh, so they're back working. Um, first time, I, before I put my foot on the brake and the pin came up, it didn't do anything. I guess that's to be expected. But it is currently appear to be working. Let me put in here and turned on the, uh, so now it's not working. Foot on the brake. Unable to drive. Yes, I get that. So it like momentarily worked, but now it's not working again. Neither the horn nor the scroll wheels. So I saw it, it briefly worked, um, not working consistently. So Don's all spiffy for St. Patrick's Day, a little, little early here, um, it hasn't warmed up a lot. It's in the 40s, but at least it's not windy today like it yeah. was yesterday. It was so windy. So we decided to reschedule Ruby's um, service appointment for the camera upgrade from tomorrow, the 14th, right. to Monday, the 21st. Yep. And it, there were a couple reasons. Uh, Tesla told us they couldn't tell us about a loaner until tomorrow morning. We kind of needed to know today. And Johnny has a weird school schedule this week. Yeah, all week. And daylight savings time might have played a little factor. We're worried about being comatose tomorrow morning. Yeah, it's not and a good day to be not driving. not a good day to be driving. So many accidents today, first, yeah. first driving day. And maybe most importantly is we want to ask Tesla to look into the scroll wheel thing. Right. Decide what, if any, parts they want to have. Try to let them know that I'd really appreciate it if they do the camera and whatever they're going to do for the scroll wheels all in the same day. Yeah. Maybe go a few more days of seeing if it's how intermittent it is or anyway. So if um, Don's work interferes with the 21st, we'll push it out again. If they can't get the parts or decide what they want to do for the scroll wheel, we might push it out again. But for right now, it's go going to be the, the go on the 21st, and that's the best that we can do. Nobody's getting, no new cars are getting the beta right now, as best as we can tell, whether right. they qualify or they don't qualify. So yep. rushing up there to get the cameras was just going to be a 
sit and wait thing. So we right. kind of had to do what was best for us, even though we are, of course, excited and anxious to get the camera upgrade. It just seems like this particular service is just not, um, you know, it's already been rescheduled a few times, mostly Tesla and parts availability and not mobile versus us rescheduling yeah. it. So it's our turn to reschedule this time. Yeah, right. Well, yeah. it just worked out better. It's just, um, Kitten was really stressed. And yeah, it, it the just how wasn't. to negotiate. Don was willing to help tomorrow morning and had some availability to help, but it was just going to be a mess. Yeah, is what it was going to be. So this way, I can just leave with Johnny at nine. Yeah, wait downtown until around. Uh, let's see, uh, ten to eleven, eleven to twelve, sometime between ten and twelve, he'll be ready to leave. Yeah. and come back, and I don't have any other. The other student that um, rides with us sometimes on Monday yeah, afternoons, he's out, he's out of school this week, and so spring break. Yeah, mm. so Me there's too. a couple things I'm having to move around this week because the whole week's schedule is going to be off a little bit with the high school with no high school classes and just college classes. Anyway, you get the gist. Yep. No camera service tomorrow. We change the appointment this time. Yeah. So we're going to turn off the auto steer beta this morning and um, do a little short drive to see those Bradford pears that are kind of on the way to the landfill. They may not be pretty anymore after the cold last night. Well, Hard I to see say. see stuff over there. Yeah, usually it takes a day or two before they look totally browned out after they get frosted. Yeah. So, because clearly we had a hard freeze last night like they yeah. said we would, just not quite as hard. And then we're going to go for a walk on the greenway. But we want to see the difference between uh, autopilot without the beta on and, and just to re remember how right. that is with Andy, this car. Andy said that you um, he has no uh, phantom braking events if he just uses autopilot. That the, the full self-driving beta seems to cause the, is the root of the... Um, phantom braking so we're gonna we're, we're gonna try that out right well the thing is is that tesla's fixing to merge the old highway autopilot with the new city stack and so uh, after they do that merge we won't really be able to do this test anymore so the thought process is do the test now get a baseline for what we're seeing so that when they merge them which we think is the next update possibly at least then we'll have a we'll have a real baseline so that's why we're fooling around with it today yeah inquiring minds want, want to me. know and you guys are What's back um that's the navigate on autopilot and it's on okay so don navigated to andrew first we're just doing a little sunday drive literally it's nice and sunny and we're just doing a little drive about drive enough to get a feel for and i said you guys are stuck with me back holding the camera today yeah, well, I didn't order the, what I thought I did. We're still experimenting. We'll just leave it there. Yeah, I have no idea what Although, if I do decide to drive Jules one day this week, um, I'll probably... I didn't think the iPhone 13 up in that camera mount was bad, um, especially with it bigger over in the passenger seat. You know, you guys are stuck looking at me when Don and I are out together versus me putting it there. Um, but I probably would go back to using that again. Although poor Don, he took it down this morning. It'll go back up easy enough. And I am recording in 1080p with the vlogging camera so that um, the files won't get maybe so horribly big on me today. Yeah, well, today with this really bright sunshine, this is uh, very the phantom braking stuff. Um, are we sure we got full self driving on? Uh, pull into the environmental park. No, I'm not sure. We did a lot of talking and yeah, probably didn't I'm, toggle it off. That's what I'm thinking. But I think maybe we get the visualizations anyway. I understand. I'll let you check it. Yeah, we didn't turn it off. Oops. Yeah. <laughs> yeah, I was wondering why we had that. I was wondering why we had the thing. I imagine we could have just pushed that. Oh. So now we just got this. Yeah, and now we don't have the the bigger visualization. So you may not be worth. I may not have to do the the, the, the 
video the screen the whole time. It's yeah, not quite it, that interesting. Yeah, it's really kind of boring. Not that I get to watch the video screen. <laughs> well, you do when you watch the videos back up on the big screen, but. All right, so now we're in, oh, well, it's got a little bit of maybe. Right, well, it still shows you what cars are around you and, or, you know, some stuff, like there's a trash can to the right and there's a trash can. It's just not as detailed, and I can't expand it. There's no little tab to slide it to the right. Oh, you can't? Wow, I didn't know that. Bummer. Stopping for traffic control in 600 feet, she says. You have a microfiber in your door? Sure do. Because our screen would, is a little dusty. I wouldn't go to, with my kitten somewhere that I didn't have a microfiber. microfiber. <laughs> yeah. See, I'm just bad girl. I don't ever cut the screen off and put it in, you know, clean mode. I just... I don't know what all that was about. Did you just start driving and forget she was driving? No, I turned the wheel and took her out. She and uh, I was creeping forward. I I don't know. She I was I was doing that human thing with the stop sign creeping up. Um, right. I think you were doing that human thing. <laughs> it's all right. There was a car that cut off to the right to cut through the Episcopal Church because. That trailer is making a left turn and it can take him a long time. Yeah. Anyway, people sometimes cut through the property on the side of the Episcopal Church and don't wait properly at the stop sign. Well, people who don't care about getting muddy tires uh, do that because there's a big mud puddle you have to drive through and that guy's got plenty of mud on his tires. And it's just rude. So we might be all right. We might yeah. still get to see some stuff because it, it's very pretty. You don't have to, unless you just want to do the visuals, uh, the blogging. We could just do this one. So it's up to you. Whatever you'd like to do. So I'm nice and warm and snuggly. I've got my um, line pants on and I've got this uh, nice sweater you got me. Well, I would say so far, um, well, she's slowing, but that's because auto steer speed is restricted. Because we were at, what, 55 for a little bit, and then it went right back to 45. I don't even know why it sped up to 55 in the first place back there. That's sort of weird. Yeah. Well, it just must have changed the speed limit. I remember it being 55 through here, but, you know, I don't pay that much. Right. Well, that was not a phantom brake, though. That was Imagine. slowing down because the speed limit changed. So, right. um, she's shown no hesitation yet. Is, uh, like I've said before, is a fine line between um, hesitation and fan of braking, of which is she, when, when is she thinking and when is she just slowing for. Alright, well, then I'll be speeding up here again once we pass this church. Right, we're coming up past the site of the. Uh, he waved. We're coming up past the site of the uh, opening for the daily videos where we had the drone footage shot. I might say because we drove around to a bunch of locations and yeah, that's it right there. Kind of um, ended up with not being able to film in some of the spots we wanted to film. Yeah. I accidentally filmed in a spot we weren't supposed to film in, <laughs> but the bridge footage is really great. Glad we got in and out of there pretty quick. tell you that's pretty impressive if you think about it we just out for a little Sunday drive and we already saw a, a Model Y I mean that was with five minutes less than five minutes and this is Fuquay Verena North Carolina this is not Cary right or North Raleigh it's 
So Don was reading an article this morning, actually saved it out of yesterday's paper, I think, that had to do with the price of electricity. Can you give a little summary on what you were... Uh, yeah, well, the uh, fuel uh, fuel prices are going up, you know, where's the gas pump prices, but also that fixed uh, energy supplies or uh, prices are going way up. And some states have a energy rider so basically the fuel cost gets passed on to the consumer. So they were talking about um, San Diego and uh, the two examples, San Diego and New York City. And um, one of the, the San Diego guy, his bill went from 250 to $508. the the, um, I don't know. I don't know why he honked at us. It wasn't like you were gonna pull over in front of him. Right. Um, I say um, and the New York City one went up from 33 cents a kilowatt to uh, 40 cents a kilowatt so uh, um, you know significant increases and this is technically prior this was um, in fact the California bill was for December and the other guy New York bill I think was for January neither of which had anything to do with um, the Ukraine yet so uh, the whole premise of the article is said that 35% of the electricity in the U.S. is generated from um, natural gas and 20-something 20, 20 percent, I don't know. Yeah, well now on Jules we can come up here and go to notifications and uh, whatever caused that, she did not log an alert. So I can't tell you what that was about. I suspect you went over the line, but I don't know. She's driving. She went over the line. <laughs> I am not driving. <laughs> That's right. See the big blue circle? Yeah, right I there? see the big blue, blue circle. circle. It's actually the little the little blue circle would what? be a more apt description. The right. little blue circle is illuminated. Yes. And I'm doing 45, and the speed limit's 45. Right. This is all I'm doing. Legal, legal. I got my hands on the wheel. I don't have any glasses on. Besides that, that's all supposed to be full self-drive. What's going on over there? Oh, that's the golf course or uh, something. What road are we on? We're on Chalibet Springs Road. All right, well, we're just going the way she said to go. Right. But well, we told her and your, but the city, but no specific location. And I know she's taking us to Depot Street, which is basically where the little clock is and what locals would think of as the heart of Andrew. That's right. <laughs> Well, I haven't felt uh, any slowdowns whatsoever. Right. She seems to be doing okay. So, I, well, I'm just saying, I think if we had been at FSD Beta, we would have already had several hesitations. Right. Because when we drove over to, um, on 42, uh, in fact, I got in trouble, right? She she, she uh, gave me an error, right? She, she uh, busted me that one time. Uh, uh, we That trip was on similar roads um, and on a similar sunny sky with a lot of shadows uh, we had numerous in fact the whole premise you start <laughs> video oh we don't have very many uh, um, uh, phantom braking events and then we proceeded to have like 20 so yeah. right that one day was really rough yeah so we're just testing Andy's hypothesis that if we do a um, on uh, autopilot and not full self-driving that the highway stack or whatever the full self-driving stack versus the FSD I'm sorry the autopilot stack versus the FSD stack uh, has a different um, behavior when it comes to phantom braking right and so far I'm agreeing that it seems to have a different pretty. behavior very pretty they have their Christmas decorations. They got a Santa sleigh up on the front porch. Front porch still. Yeah. Well, I, you know, worry about people that have had some sort of family emergency that kind of trumped putting away the decorations. Uh, she's driving and 
I'm zoomed in now to where you can really more see that the speed is not fluctuating and that Dawn is on autopilot. Yeah, well, she slowed down there correctly because of those cones and the tape, the construction there. So where would you like me to navigate to next? Well, we can uh, uh, go to um, uh, that store, Pult uh, Pultivus, you know, your, um, at their old stage and 42. What was that store? Do you remember? Oh, what's that uh, tire place? I, I don't know. Uh, I'll find it. Old Stage in 42. Yeah. Oh. Um, mm. You don't remember the name of that store. That's fine. Well, we could navigate to Porter Farms. There you go. Porter Farms. And that'll be close to there. That's plenty. That's a great idea. Yeah, well, I didn't want... I mean, literally, the one store was called Fat Boys, but that wasn't the official name of it um and it's closed now so all right and that is the correct one by the old house near old stage not the one at 1010 okay all right because we were fixing to run out of where we were going and she needs to know so speed was adjusted there but nice and smooth yep i agree what oh, what was that slowdown. That was, I don't know, was a that couple a couple mile an hour slowdown? Yeah. Could have been a stopping for traffic control in 400 feet, she says. Yeah. So it wants us to make a left, left. turn? Really? Yeah, we'll go back up 55. Why not? Oh. Well, we can go back up 50. Well, Did we, we really? don't have to. You can yeah. kick her out and go where you want to go. Yeah, I'm going to go. We can re-navigate there. I'll cancel well, it for a minute. Oh. No, I shouldn't well, have canceled well, it. Well, she'll renavigate. She'll recalculate. But that was okay. You no problem. That's something. We're going to turn it to traffic light. Yeah, all Don's trying to say is he wants to take us in the more country overall cross on 210 instead of 55 back up. Yeah, well, she did I, good there. I agree. You left that. With her we beeping should do there. The, the, oh, the that. Anyway. But you're not in the autopilot. Right. No, that was, uh, that was, um, that was just her. Yeah, she saw the car was really cutting the left turn lane off yeah. there coming around the corner and she alerted and. No, yeah, she applied the brakes. She did. Yes, I'm really, telling you. Really, even though she wasn't on autopilot. I'm telling you, she did huh. it. I did not do that. Wow. That, that motion that you felt stopping, that was her. Her, because I, as a human being, calculated. It'll be out of my lane. I don't have to, you know, I don't have to worry. Uh, and so, but she, uh, you know, just like when cars pull, she does that all the time. When cars pull out in front of her, she hits the brakes. So that's all that was. Right. I mean, it, but but again, she did it, which is good. I mean, the only thing I would worry about when she does stuff like that is when there's somebody right on your bumper. Yeah. Well, now she wants to go 40 in a 20. I don't know it's how she's doing 35. that. 35. Well, now it was 20. Well, by the time I looked, it was 35. 35 yeah. That's all I can say. That's right. Just. Okay, I'm putting Porter Farms as our destination back up there. So it doesn't slide around and make all that racket. Sure. I had stuff in the floorboard back there. We're just we're out in Jules today also instead of Ruby because the roads are clean and you know Ru Jules is clean Ruby is not the roads are nice today
on a 55 speed limit. And we have some more pretty trees. Very pretty. froze them so that they wouldn't get uh, they'd be protected from the frost hey, interesting I've never actually seen that in person before it was really pretty I hope it worked for them that's the local blueberry bog right. you want fresh blueberries you go there I'm just gonna get out and fix that seatbelt okay Ooh, our kind of sign, S-curve ahead. <laughs> oh, our lovely man. It's horrible. Yeah, if you don't, if you move the seat around and you're not careful with the seat belts back there, they rattle. So, just make sure to tuck them in. I don't know what's to be done about it other than humans being careful with making sure they're where they're supposed to be. And Don's just checking both sides. Yeah, might as well put them both. Make sure they they're belong. both where they belong since we're not, wasn't maybe not 100% clear which one was doing the rattling. Don is very rattle averse. <laughs> not that I like it, but. Now we're on Marianne's the, profile. We are? Yeah. Well, I didn't do anything to cause that. It knows That'll who... teach you to take your butt off the seat. Yeah. <laughs> well, we may actually have to go down this way just a little bit. Just, just to, see. to see this S-curve. Yeah, I'm being very careful because of the... Yeah, you only gave me a heart attack when I saw you go off back there to, to pull off. I just, you know, nearly... But... at the screen because if I look at the screen I get in trouble. Well not today not right now because you're not on FSD beta but yeah. So she wants me to kind of make a funny left turn up here. Yeah. It's not a 90 degree turn by any stretch. You, I was gonna say girl you gonna slow down. It's a four-way stop. Well, or I think that's what it is. Yes, it's four-way. Oh, that's right. She won't make this turn. <laughs> well, she gave you a message: auto lane change unavailable or something. Right. I don't know. I was used to her making. You know, all I have to do is put my foot on the accelerator and tell her to go, and she usually t turns the steering wheel. But she wasn't doing it that time. Fixing to go past Broadwells. Now this is the uh, the asphalt with all these markings. It's amazing. Yeah, that that's she can deal with that. Deal with that. Yeah, all well, the, Broadwell's is all covered up because of the cold. They came yeah. out and ha either have it uncovered or covered some additional things. I used to spend a lot of time in there. Yeah. You got to have the right kind of truck though. Wouldn't be taking the Tesla around out there. That's asphalt in between I mean it's rough in there I just you have to trust me it's sort of not safe to go in there with any nice car
a mighty big of. field of mo. Mo. Had to have you the right kind of tracker tractor for that. Oh, they got the ice out there again. Oh yeah. Yeah. Those are strawberries. So they put the ice on the strawberries. Yeah, I suppose when we go by Porter's, maybe we can pull off in there and just sort of look because they're likely to have done that up there too. Yeah, makes sense. If you actually go by Porter's. I'm good. I'll, we'll see what we can do. Well, go by it. I'm, I'm, well, I don't think we're having any phantom breaking. Right. I have, That one that is was borderline. Uh, it, the way she, you know it when she phantom breaks. I guess that's what, it's not a. Yeah, your body moves. The yeah. gravity, the, the, yeah. the G-force, it, you know, it's enough of a slow down quick that you know it happened to you. It's yeah. not, it's not where you scratch your head and go, the G was, it was a phantom break. Yeah. Yeah, <laughs> yeah it's pretty. It's pretty like, whoa, what was that? Well, this is going to be straight up until for a little, for uh, how many miles? Like six miles. So I'm going to go ahead and, but if we have a phantom break, we'll let you know. And we'll, we've got the other camera rolling. Yeah. Of course, I stopped filming and then we had something interesting happen. We had a Ford collision warning cresting, Ford collision warning cresting the hill back there like Ruby does on that one spot on 401. And uh, so instead of having phantom braking, this stack has Ford collision warning errors. <laughs> but that makes sense to me because Ruby's doing that and they would be on the same, you know, not FSD beta code. But we definitely crested the hill. See, you know, the driver doesn't get to see those alerts because A, you're looking at the road, and B, they go away so quick. And Ruby, I have a chance at seeing them because it's right in front of the steering wheel. But in the three and the Y, where you got to look over to the right, not this, not so much. I, I would maybe suggest they leave them up another second or two. Although I do believe that if I come up here now and go to the alert, um. Wow, that didn't get um, that didn't get put up there either. That's strange. Well, now she was driving, right? Oh, she does. Ruby does it too. Ruby's also driving. Yeah, people can't stay on their own side of the road at all. It's a real chronic problem, if you ask me. Well, that you're right. That was absolutely because they were on my side of the road. But since Jules. Uh, or the Teslas have the love affair with the yellow center line. I, I didn't want to have to negotiate with that car who on whose side of the road was what. So I got well over on the to the right edge. Yeah. I did that human thing. Right. The car's not doesn't know it doesn't isn't afraid doesn't know about being afraid, but we do. Yes, right. Fear of the wheels, fear of going off the road and losing control, fear of the other car hitting. I mean, it's a multifaceted concern back on these narrow country roads. Well, somebody has a bounce house. Although I guess in comparison to some places in the world, these roads are still fairly generously sized. But for us, it's a small, narrow country road. Yeah, pretty much. I think we want this road coming up here. Panther Lake or Mount Pleasant Church or well we want to go remember when we used to get right. the eggs. Yep, yep. Well that might this one here I think is John Adams okay, if I so, had to guess. So but it's paved right but it's paved now, so right. you can take that. Yeah, I don't know why she wouldn't you know, John Adams will be pretty too. But the thing of it was and this it's the same thing I've seen with Ruby is when she has that forward collision thing, she doesn't slow. So it's either <laughs> it's either a forward collision possibility and we should be braking hard or it's not, right? I mean, it's not, maybe by the time she thinks it is and she alerts, she knows it's not and she doesn't brake. I'd, I'd, I'd love to know what's going on there a little more. But that's exactly what I've been saying has been going on with Ruby. So that's the old, um, into John Adams right there, which they've got, you know, because yeah. the dumping was happening, they've tried to barricade it off, but people have knocked it down. But you can certainly turn right here, and we can take John Adams. Right. But you'd have to slow to take it. Right. 
So is that what you're trying to tell me to do is take John Adams? I thought... Yes, I wanted to go John Adams. Okay, well I guess we'll just have to come back John Adams. <laughs> thought I had been clear. Yeah, because I think that's her again. Uh, but she, I, I don't think she put up the forward collision warning that time. So instead of phantom braking, she alerts with no braking and scares you to death. It's but it seems like it's some similar, but at least you kind of uh, get. You went over the yellow line. She did. She did. A little too fast for that backcountry road. Well, I'd say it's a toss-up as to which one is better or worse to deal with. Yeah, really. The alerting that Ruby's been doing and Don's experiencing with Jules now, it is quite startling when it happens. Especially with Ruby, it only seems to happen in this one spot on my normal daily drive. And it doesn't happen every time. It just happens sometimes. And yeah. But please understand, though, we want to be beta testers we're prepared to take over and we're commenting on the behavior but I don't want it I don't want it to sound like we're complaining about that behavior it's a curiosity to us and hopefully Tesla continues to gather enough data to um, improve the gosh my little tire guy Jimmy's is open today yeah, well, if, uh, you know, um, the van has tires from over there. Did we get what well, the XB had tires XB from over there? And I suppose if the GMC needed tires, we'd probably take it there too. It's possible. At least to give him a crack at it. Yeah. Side over here and I had a tire going down or something I I wouldn't be opposed to pulling in there well, I got my jack um, plugs I mean for Ruby right well the, the thing is um, uh, he just orders them from the, the tire distributor just like everybody else does just yeah. because he doesn't have a fancy coffee waiting room and all and his that overheads not high so yeah. he doesn't charge you for a pretty yeah. a pretty picture yeah, he's been there a long time. time. Well, the thing is, he, he just, knows tires because that's all he does. That's right, and he's got computerized balancers just like everybody else has got. But well, you just go up to Porter's now. I don't want you to take John oh. Adams now. Well, I didn't know. Oh, you wanted to see the, um, the ice potential up here on the strawberries. Yes, ma'am. Now that one looks a little browned out. That's what happens. They look okay the next morning, but then they kind of brown out pretty yeah. quick from the damage. I agree that we're uh, we're basically going to have a problem here. Oh, they're sure. all iced. So if we can pull in and look well, at the ice, that I would be... The... Yes, ma'am. of it is here is a, and then they've got water on top the ice is on top of the, the cover okay interesting yep well, they'll be they open for spring with the ice soon. cream stand as soon as they have the first strawberries coming out of the field yeah it won't they be close long. in october and they open sometime in april going into may yeah I would say the ice cream causes people to go in there and buy the, the fruit and vegetables. Versus the other, the other way around. around. <laughs> yeah, it's true. Uh, my old neighborhood is right down this way. Navigating us to now. Uh, we're gonna go down John Adams. We're gonna go to the land uh, back towards over there towards the landfill. 
there's one road that I, I know we want to go up Pleasant Valley so you may not be able to navigate because you know this is the thing we're wandering around through the countryside right well won't she just drive without a place I mean she seems to be driving okay without yeah. she'll just stay between the lines right yeah of course she doesn't know what the speed limit through here is now she decided she knows what the speed limit is. Well, she thinks it's 45. That's probably fair. It's probably good. I wouldn't. <laughs> there are some curves down here towards the end. I wouldn't want to go much for 45 over. Of course, Tesla's a nice handle really well. The GMC would be a real. Yeah, I used hoot. to drive down this road with the boys all the time when they were little in the van, taking pictures of the wildlife along the road. Well, they must have put. And they have done nasty things to my beautiful road. Well, they've they've trenched. They must have buried something because that's got grass and there's no farmer who's going to yeah, do that. Yeah, well, all in here were those really pretty lilies. And uh, turn, 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 slow, were these slow. really pretty lilies that were wild. Turn, 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 turn. You could slow her down to 35, maybe, so Aww. she can make better decisions, please. <laughs> Help her, help a girl out a little bit. I'm gonna now hold it on to the door handle. <laughs> yeah, I'm not. No, it used to be pretty over here. They've destroyed it. I'm sure some people are really good. I, what's gonna happen is I seen a fire hydrant. They're gonna be putting a development in over there now. Somebody sold out their farmland, and they're gonna be putting in a development. There's no stop sign, sweetheart. But that's okay. There's no right. There's Yep, I'd say it's going to be all development there really soon. So, so much for the little country road where you could go to look at dragonflies and turtles and lilies and snakes and hawks and other really cool wildlife. Critters. Critters. I spent many an hour down there. Put the DVD player on for the kids, have the car all air conditioned and get out and take 200 pictures of a dragonfly. The kids loved it when I did that. Oh, Just yeah. kidding. <laughs> they tolerated it well sometimes. Depends if we got ice cream at Porter's. Yeah. <laughs> ice cream at Porter's would buy you 15 minutes of photography. Very good. That was all her. I cringed because there was a pothole right there on I the side of the road. Oh, you're driving. I'm driving. I, she <laughs> stopped, but I'm driving. Yeah, traffic work crews. Now she's driving. Here, let me be very clear. She's driving now, but back there it was traffic work cruise control. Okay. Uh, right up here, we used to, we had a farmer and we got our meat from this guy. Yeah, Wilkerson Farms. Wilkerson Farms, thank you. And we used to buy a quarter of a cow at a time. Right. That and was about 100 pounds of meat. There's some really pretty pear trees that line the road up there. That's why I was trying yeah, to Yeah, white up. fence and all. White fence and all. In yeah. fact, you can see a little bit of them right here because this is his house. Yeah. This house right here on the left. Well, he's got cows out there. Yeah. Well, he probably still sells the meat. There was a divorce and things got messed up for a while. Yeah. It may have straightened itself back out now. Or maybe he's just doing it for family and friends, but not really selling to the public. It's hard to say. Yeah, this is what I was talking about. It's really pretty. I want to go back to FSC Ranch in Clayton and get some more of their um, sirloin steak. adrenaline rush was so s severe I guess my eyes really thought we were gonna get hit so it was uh, yeah. well, not good well, at this point I'm driving completely All right. oh it still looks pretty yay Come 
on folks at least wait till it quits blooming before you cut on it I never understood why these landscaping people would go around trimming things that were either in the middle of blooming or just about to bloom I never I never not quite got it very pretty yeah it's one of my favorite little sections And yeah, they smell, and yeah, they split, and all that stuff, and they're still pretty. And we have a lot of them here, so you might as well embrace them. Yeah. And the beta back on. What's it say? So it's back on? Back on. Yeah, because we're thinking now we should probably... As much as we are getting phantom braking events, that this just a simple drive over to the Greenway, which is where I should probably navigate to. Uh, uh, favorites? Greenway? There it is. I mean, it's only a couple, three miles from here. Right. I wonder if we have to turn the visualization back on. Probably. I'll let you find it. You see it. Oh, the preview, it's on. Okay. Let me start immediately. Yeah, let's get out on Highway 42 first yeah, and maybe. then go for it. Yeah, we should do it. All right, she's driving now. Okay. <laughs> she slowed right there, <laughs> right away. What have we gone? 100 uh, yards? Yeah, something like that. <laughs> yeah, I used to love driving. Uh, there she slowed again. Yeah, I would agree. So, Andy. Uh, there's a third one. <laughs> yeah, Andy was right. She's a much more on the full self driving. Uh, that one was more severe. Here, let me zoom in on the more on the speed, speed limit, limit so you can see them better. Yeah, that's, uh, Annie was right. Oh, 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 please pay attention. Let me get back over. <laughs> Let me get back over here. She yeah. probably, probably was the camera. That's right. I, I'm going to say yes to that. But I have my hands on the wheel. And I've been looking out the windshield. All the I zoomed in. I'm over here in my own court now. Of course, my phone is down there in that holder, but yeah. my hand's not on my phone. Yeah, she doesn't like you messing around with the screen Some and I got really close there for a minute she right away a uh, little slow down to 52 the speed limit here is 55 well that driving visualization to me is kind of addictive I didn't like losing it right. when we turned it off that that was a two mile per hour slow for no reason. So yeah, she's phantom braking little, but not like cause people to rear end you phantom braking. Just right. little hesitations. Yeah. Yeah, you, I can feel it as the driver. I, I can actually. Well, I can feel it too. Yeah. yeah, I mean, it's very noticeable. from 55 to 50 because we're in a 45 zone now um, but again it took her quite a while to, to make that slow down what much longer than we'd like the Dollar General they're putting in over here is coming along nicely that's a pretty good size store that's no little Dollar General they're usually not that big Barely pulling 
at least we can say as we drove what five miles eight miles and we barely felt any hesitation at all and then we went a mile and we felt it four or five times sure I think that would be the summary I would give on the difference between the two yeah. with and without the beta turned on So I have no idea what the autopilot stack was doing versus the full. I mean, obviously the full self-driving is using radar, but the um, autopilot stack may be. Now this is a tricky thing, so I'm gonna I'm gonna do all of it here myself. Yeah, it's five points, but one of the points is off the main intersection, and it's Highway 55 and 42 and 401 all in one corner. It's just a mess back there, which is one of the reasons they're talking about a bypass that goes around that intersection right. for through traffic, which has the whole area up in arms over destroying more, they call it Centennial or One Family Farms. Apparently, the local people, and I support them, there's one of three options that they're okay with, and the other two they're absolutely livid over. So hopefully the DOT will pick the one that the people are behind, even if it's a little more expensive or will take a little longer to complete. Yeah, well, this traffic light is the one we normally turn to come over here on. We come out right, on the right here. Yep. And we make a right turn and go south here. She hesitated there, but yeah, that but was legitimate for the intersection. Yeah, the traffic, the, there's cars making left turns, and she sniffed them, so she hit the brake a little bit. And then here's our crosswalk down here. Where you'll have to take over because yeah, she won't she make the turn. Yeah, she's not going to do it. cars in our parking lot today. I'll keep filming because Don's typically been letting Jules pick a parking spot and park over here. Right. Testing out that feature. Yeah. I'm just going to drive down the middle of the thing this time. I'm not going to try to go to the right or the left, but man, with all these, um, he's a big dog. Yeah. Nice ramp. Must be older. Yeah. All right. Looking for the P. Looking for the P. Did it? I wasn't looking. Did it happen to show the dog? Yes, it did. No P. No P. Oh, come on, Aww. Jules. There's lots of parking spaces here, sweetheart. Aww. Well, this is kind of like what happened the last time. You had to back up and try again, and then. Yeah, well, does she has she seen it? No parking places. Let me see here. Let me get a little bit better. I'm going to put one space between me and that other car. I think this is, is this it? Or am I parking next to him? I'm parking next to him. Your poor husband can't make out distances. Oh, well, she did the P that time. Right. I saw the P briefly. briefly. Oh, God. Yeah, you go ahead now, Jules. Just. <laughs> Finish the job. Now I can blame her if it ain't parked right. In fact, I did 90% of it. She did the last yeah, 5%. Yeah, thanks for nothing there, Jules. Yeah, pretty much. <laughs> well, we parked with one space because likely the people would go on the other side instead yeah. of trying to squeeze in here. Wow, it's only been a week and they've already got the foundations up on a couple of these. And they're down here doing something on the end. Somebody was here feeding these guys. So it looks like the right kind of stuff. Cracked corn though versus bread. <laughs> Don't miss out. Don't miss out. Don't run into me. <laughs> hi guys. Yeah, I know. It's all gone, huh? It's all gone. I'm sorry. One more sign that it really rained pretty good last night. How much 
you think we got? An inch, two inches? Enough? Enough. That's some serious water coming over. Well, I guess looking so handsome is getting you out of having to do a hit yeah, today. Yeah, hit today, baby. <laughs> he wasn't worried about sweating in his pretty outfit since no, it's only 40-something out here. Cold, <laughs> it's nice and sunny for almost the entire walk, though. Yeah. The wind's only thing is a little rough right now. Yeah, it's uh, really a spring day here, even though it's a little brisk. Lots of people on the trail. Pretty sun. It's not as bad as you would have thought for a low in the 20s. <laughs> Guac. <laughs> It's Sunday. We're back home. We're going to chill. It's uh, all the clocks in the house reset, I think, except for the stove. That's right. The stove's the yeah. only manual clock that I've spotted. I didn't check That's a couple right. of the high you know, ones. I didn't but even walk around and do that. I've gotten well, so used to them taking care of themselves, themselves now. Yeah, the computer, the cell phone, everything. Yeah. Mm -hmm. I might futz with my Legos in a while, but we'll see. I did have some Legos in the mailbox. We didn't get yesterday's mail. and um, a whole box. Yeah, the thing I ordered actually from Lego. Some Easter gifts for some kids I know. Wink, oh, wink, nod, nod. Wink, wink, nod, nod.